Lieutenant Governor, thank you again for joining us. I want to start with some of the threats that the president has been making recently uh, in terms of military action against protesters. Do you at all uh, inside the state plan to request any help from the federal government or what would your reaction be to such a move from the president? You know, a lot has happened over the course of the last three or four months that has really required California to lead uh, because the federal government's leadership has not been uh, has not been appropriate for our state. So um, whether it was in the COVID response or in this current response, uh, we're very much relying on our own leaders here in the state, leaders like Michael Tubbs, uh, Mayor Tubbs, who just spoke so well, uh, to be able to chart our path forward. And in speaking about the protests happening in California, we've seen thousands of people in Los Angeles, San Francisco, so there's fears that this could trigger a second wave of the coronavirus pandemic. Governor Cuomo has said so for New York. So is Governor Gavin Newsom watching this? And what is his plan for protecting everyone as these protests are happening? So California was the first in the nation to issue a stay-at-home order. We take social distancing and physical distancing very seriously. So anyone who is out there peacefully demonstrating definitely needs to adhere to the social distancing measures, wear a mask as appropriate, stay six feet away from other people. But I really want to be clear, there is a need to mourn this terrible incident in the killing of George Floyd. And so the fact that people want to get out there and demonstrate and 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 make sure that their feelings about this are known, and as part of the process as a society to mourn what we all saw on TV, this horrifying incident, that's important. And that kind of peaceful demonstration is very much welcome in the state of California. What's important, though, is that people do uh, continue to observe social distancing. And of course, that these protests don't turn violent, because we've had some of that, too, and that is not helpful in this circumstance. And you mentioned violence there, and we've seen some storefronts be completely shattered. We've seen business property be destroyed. What has the business community told you as a leader of California's government in terms of the types of protections they're looking for? At the same time, we've also heard many CEOs of corporate America who have voiced their support for the protesters. Well, again, I think that um, we should all voice support for peaceful protests, especially in light of this really pretty terrible uh, incidents. I mean, I, for one, will never forget the images that I saw um, and this man calling out for his mother where a police officer is callously um, blocking his airways uh, by kneeling on his neck. I mean, it's just horrifying. My own children are going to be out there in a, in a demonstration tomorrow. So, uh, so that is part of what we need to do as a society. However, it's also really clear that organizing violence, bringing more destruction, potentially bringing more um, injury to people, that is not helpful. It does not serve the common good. And cities uh, around the state and the state government itself are working together to try to really minimize uh, that kind of activity, looting, uh, destruction of property, and keep these demonstrations peaceful and impactful uh, through that uh, peaceful way. California Lieutenant Governor Eleni Kunalakis, thank you so much for joining us today. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.